Right, welcome back <clears throat> everyone. We're going to do another play through here today. Do a one credit run to see how far I can get on one credit. Today's chosen game, the Ninja Saviors Return of the Warriors, which is, I guess, a sequel to the late 80s, early 90s arcade game uh, Ninja Warriors. Anyone that remembers that game, it was quite famous for... I think it was um, having three screens in the arcade, so it was, it was quite a standout piece if you was to walk into uh, an amusement arcade. You know, the, in all honesty, it hasn't aged well. If you play it, minus that big screen in the cabinet, it's a pretty poor beat em up, even for the time. Right, anyway, straight into this one. This is a much, much, much better version of the game. It's very much in, um, it's very much sticks to today's beat em ups in terms of how they've been revived in recent years. Controls are great. Got the three characters instead of two that you used to have in the original. Uh, I tend to go with the big boy here. Now, I wouldn't really call this a hidden gem as such. Um, it's, it's a fairly well-known game, but um, it's not a mainstream title by any means. I mean, you can buy this digitally, which I did, admittedly so. Um, sorry to all you physical collectors out there. Um, but it was because it was like £4 or £5 at the time, um, and I was quite happy to get it at that price. Um, it was always on my wanted list on the physical side of things. And to be honest, if I see it cheap enough, it still will be. Um, but it's, it's not an expensive game. If you go on CX, I think it's between 15 and 18 pound, um, which isn't bad. I haven't actually uh, completed this game. I haven't played it a great deal such a backlog um, but I have got to the final boss and yeah he absolutely smashed me up and um, I think I clicked the wrong button once instead of continuing for the 277th time and it took me back to the title screen and after such a slog I was never gonna go back through it that particular night um, hey ho let's hope I do it on the one credit tonight I can't see it But I absolutely love the graphics on this one. Very reminiscent of the 16-bit, uh, you know, probably touching just a little bit into the 32-bit era as well. Because um, you did get some 2D games on the Saturn and the PS1, you know, that looked like this, if I remember rightly. It's just we didn't get enough because, you know, at the time the 3D was the new thing, wasn't it, at the time? And it was what people were demanding. And it's what the developers were making. And they were getting used to it, to be fair. They had to make the games to get used to the um, to the format, as we've seen with many poor 3D games over the years. They did perfect the formula, we all know that. It just took a bit of time. You know, before I um, started filming this video tonight, I did actually fire up uh, one of my emulators tonight just to check <laughs> the original and see if I was correct in my assessment of it not aging well. And I, I still stand by it. It's quite slow, it's quite clunky. It's quite a, like um, a bad version of Kung Fu Master, you know? Yep, that's it. We've got to use the special straight away. Give myself a bit of an advantage over the boss. His bark's worse than his bite, this one. We'll have, we'll have him out of there in no time. Oh, I've jinxed myself now. Mm. 
Right, come on. One more hit, he's out there. Good night. All right, at least we got past the first um, level on one credit. That's always the embarrassing thing, isn't it? If you don't get past the first level. The thing is with this game, you actually only get the one life and it's game over. It's great. It gives you the option to continue. Yeah, that's, that's good. But... You know, um, it's kind of standard, isn't it? You get the three lives on 2D beat-em-ups, side-scrollers. Yeah, they opted not to go down that route on this one. So far, I've, I've uploaded, you know, once I get this video up, it'll be uh, two or three to the side scrollers that I've uploaded. Obviously, I really like them, because sort of games, possibly my favourite genre, but if there's any other sort of games anyone that views the channel would like to see, or any particular game, uh, just let us know, and I'll see what I can do. I don't want to keep limiting it to 2D beat-em-up, so I'm going to get a light gun game in next. Looking at House of the Dead for the Switch and thinking about doing a little run through on that. And then uh, maybe a few platformers, maybe some Mario Wonder, some Wonder Boy. You know, I've got tons there, so please, if there's anything you guys want to see, just let me know, and if I've got it, uh, I'll go for it. The one downside to this game, I will say, the enemies are very, very repetitive. And very weak, some of them. Look, he's like, bang, doing that. Heck, bang, doing that. Which I'm not going to complain about, to be fair. See, these robots are an absolute pain in the backside. The only way you can hurt them is if you hit them from behind or pick them up and throw them. Which is a bit of a pain when you've got other enemies uh, completely swarming you. He literally just killed himself there. Now you would think, wouldn't you, that that sting coming down is there so it would hit you. I dodged it for ages when I was playing this game. Um, thinking that it would and it doesn't. It's almost like breaking a video game rule, isn't it? You, know, you have steam coming down and it's like an obstacle. Nope, they just fool you on this one. It's like placebo steam.
that's the sort of army you want working for you, isn't it? That's real dedication. Let me just run into some blades. Oh dear, I'm dead. Where did that dedication get you, eh, pal? Ah, now you see these little guys here with the spikes. Reminiscent of um, the second level boss, I believe, on uh, Dragon Ninja. Bad boots. You know, every beat em up's got them couple of opponents uh, that really annoy you and they get their occasional hit in just when you don't need it you're low on energy this is the guy this little punk here oh robot again so the robot I think on this one it's just before the boss which is a real pain because if he starts throwing you about you go into the boss fight you know without the required energy they are quite generous with the air uh, health boosts. They normally give you one just before the boss, which is nice. Always has to get the last hit, and there you go, he just killed himself. Right, boss number two. Guy's got a chainsaw. And is it me or is that a very, very long chainsaw? See, odd thing with this character, he doesn't do your general fly kick like a lot of the other characters do. Um, but I'll work around that. He's got a move set that I prefer. Good night, Leatherface. Okay, not bad. Level three, still on the first credit. What 2D beat map would be complete? Wouldn't be complete without some sort of train in the background of the level. I was just about to say uh, Final Fight's got a lot to answer for, but thinking back, Renegade was probably the first, wasn't it, that had the uh, subway. Renegade was a game I played a lot in the arcade. I was really good at that as a kid. Could finish it on 10, 20 pence or something like that. If I play it now, I'm terrible. The old man reflexes, isn't it? Love that game anyway. When it came out, I had no idea it was kind of the, well, the European and American release version anyway. It was kind of uh, designed as a homage to the Warriors. Love that film. If you haven't seen The Warriors, go out and watch it. That's one of the cult films you need to see. Probably an unpopular opinion here, but um, I was recently playing the PlayStation 2 version of The Warriors, and I, I really enjoyed that game when it came out. I only had it on the PSP years ago. And, um, the OG Xbox as well. I managed to pick up for the PS2 and I was trying to play it the other night and um, I didn't enjoy it as much as I did back then. Am I wrong there? That's a very unpopular opinion I'm, I'm gonna think. Sadly, this one actually don't take you onto the train, so I'll give them that. But I do like them train scenes. Ah. 
See, the good thing with this character is once you start hitting people and you go into your third combination hit, the nunchuckers start swinging back as well, which is really cool because anyone behind you then takes a slap as well. Very reminiscent of um, Day of the Dead. Sorry, not Day of the Dead. Dawn, sorry. Dawn of the Dead with a shopping centre. Like, completely uh, escaping me for a while. One of the best zombie films ever made and uh, completely forgot its name. Shame on me. I think the third boss is soon coming up after this. And it's been a while since I've played it, so I actually can't remember what the boss is, or who the boss is, rather. we get a few extra enemies now they're starting to come through the females uh, the ones with the guns Yakuza type enemies there which look pretty cool but they still get it and then you get the ever pathetic uh, green beret there So I've got an energy booster, background's changing, so I think boss is forthcoming. Yeah. I don't remember this one. Right, very shinobi-esque there. Sort of boss you would expect on a shinobi game. And speaking of shinobi, I actually finished Shinobi the arcade game for the first time ever <laughs> in uh, probably about a month or so ago and uh, I was very overjoyed. Sad I know but I've been trying to beat that game for years and I managed to do it. There's probably people out there thinking what do you mean it's not that hard. Well it stumped me. This guy, Ori and I, page out of Vegas book there with his little uh, jump on the wall. He's actually got the claw as well. Yeah, your predator skills are not up to scratch, pal. You're going down. I'm not going to jinx it. Oh. I'm fairly confident we're hitting level 4 on one credit here. Oh, I don't really think. Oh, there you go. Alright, level 4, one credit. Not too bad. I 
think it goes up to about eight or nine. So it's not that short of a game for, for the genre. There's uh, something very satisfying about picking up these weapons and just smashing it. Uh, not weapons per se, but background items, shall we call them? Uh, I'll tell you what, these bombs are. don't really seem to have any sort of pattern, not that I've been able to notice anyway. Oh, yep, just run into one, and then straight into the little annoying. Get rid of him quick. See these bombs? <laughs> That's twice I've literally just dived into one of them. Some sort of death wish there. Not this time. Oh look, it's Ken. The knockoff Ken, that's the sort of Ken you'd get off Timu, isn't it? it sounds like a name, doesn't it? Timu Ken. Timu Ken! <laughs> oh, I stopped now, that was terrible. I should just stop the video now after such a terrible joke, really, shouldn't I? But, these are so annoying, these robots. And I'm very sorry I mocked you, Green Berets. Just stop for a minute while I beat him. Ah. Oh, hang on, come on, I'm two. No! Look at that, one more hit and it's over. Come on, he must be dead now. Oh, he's not. Right, I need to get past this screen and hope there's a health block. Uh, shortly after it's uh, one hit now whoever gets hit next me or him I think all right come on <laughs> oh it's him it's him oh there you go <sighs> right fourth level one credit can't complain I'm uh, quite happy with that. So what do you think, guys? Ninja Saviors, Return of the Warriors. A yes or a no on uh, your preference? Do you like it? Do you not think it's a good game? Um, until next time, you take care. Like and subscribe. Share the channel. And I'll see you with the next one.